Hey guys, so I wanted to run you through the entire process of the project just so you have a good idea of what the steps are required in order to get to this point. Naturally, there was uh, old paver stones which was in this area which uh, weren't doing too good. They were set in a very shallow base of river sand which is the normal process but they were sinking over time. There was a few cracked pieces and so the homeowner wanted to go with this kind of design. They sent us a picture and said, hey, can you replicate? And of course we can. And so to be Again, we had to excavate the entire area and consider the depth at which we're going to go down because of course the paver thickness is about five centimeters or 50 millimeters and of course the mortar mixture underneath is also about five centimeters so we excavated a total of a hundred millimeters in the entire seven meter span so you can imagine how much soil that resulted in so keep that in mind when you're preparing your project as well fortunately they're redoing the rest of the landscape and so we laid it out on their grass just to encourage the grass to grow in that area once we did the excavation, we could then go ahead and snap string lines to guide us for our cobblestone borders and that laid out quite perfectly and beautifully as you see over here. Once we had our borders in place, we could go ahead and top off the area with a vapor barrier or a weed barrier, should I say. And that just prevents any grass from regrowing because the last thing you want is to be maintaining grass through these pebble stones. So once that barrier was down, we could then cement in each of the patio pavers as you see over here. And we allowed that to cure overnight so that we could walk across it and not disturb them. But lo and behold, the heavens opened up yesterday and came down in torrents the entire day. So we had to postpone to today, which is a beautiful sunny day. And now we are setting in place all of the pebble stones, which are actually being set in mortar. And that's because they've got a huge dog, a Great Dane in this property. So we wanna make sure that these pebble stones stay in place for good. After that, we'll also be laying another layer of pebble stones and a smaller gravel just to complete and fill in all the gaps and then we'll clean up. So stay tuned to see the entire process. So we've laid down this plastic membrane, which is a pretty thick membrane, and this will have two functions. One, it will prevent any water being wicked up from the ground and potentially causing settling a bit later on in the future. And secondly, it will also prevent any pesky weeds from growing up through your pebble stones, because can you imagine that? That would be a total nightmare. We then go ahead and lay out our patio pavers and they are pretty chunky and heavy so you know get prepared and evenly space them from all of the borders we space them approximately 15 to 20 centimeters from either side just so that they are straight down the center of your pathway and of course we used a string line to get a perfect measurement and then we can go ahead and secure them with our mortar mixture so enjoy this time lapse and see how we did it If doing one of these home improvement projects gets you down because of the cost these days, what if I told you you could earn up to $850 a week by simply watching Netflix, which you already do? Or what about trying out that new Snapchat filter and also earning up to $800 a week? 
Well, if that sounds too tiring, why not pop on your headphones and listen to Spotify and get paid $20 an hour? Yep, that is possible by this episode's sponsor, which is writeappreviews.com. Go and check out all the links down in the description box. Go tell them we sent you and let's get back into the video so we can get on with this project. Our patio pavers have had a chance to cure overnight and are solidly in place. So we can go ahead and now add our mortar mixture so we can secure all of our pebble stones. And these are the off-white pebble stones that we showed you earlier and they absolutely contrast quite beautifully in this area. Now typically you can add these pebble stones loosely around the patio pavers but keep in mind we have a small matter of a small horse <laughs> or in fact we've got a great dane that the homeowner loves and we want to make sure that all these pebble stones don't get kicked out and moved around by the little guy so we are securing them with a mortar mixture and just lightly pressing them so that they can adhere quite nicely and whilst that is taking place we can go ahead and get on with our tree rings so very similarly to the patio pavers we excavate a small area which is just larger than the cobblestones to prepare a concrete foundation and then we can go ahead and simply add in our cobblestones in this area with a mortar mixture as well Well, that's a wrap on another successful project. I think it turned out absolutely amazing, but let me know what you think down in the description box below. Add a comment on what you would have liked to have seen, maybe a different design, a different color, a different layout even. But make sure to follow us on Instagram as well. And of course, subscribe to the channel. I hope you found a ton of value in what you've seen today. So go ahead, give it a thumbs up. It helps us grow the channel tremendously. But we'll catch you next time on Nail and Screw.